39 days, 20 people, one survivor. Are they building shelters? Yes. Are they hunting for food? Sure. But the survival of the wilderness comes second to the survival of the social game. Only with allies can you make it all the way to the end. Only with alliances can you swing the vote away from you. That's why I need allies. I need friends. And I figured out how. Check this out. For the past few days, my new strategy has been to gain as many of these allies as possible. I've been helping around the house, I've been doing them favours, I've been listening to them talk and talk, and I just nod my head, I pretend to care. But it is all a front, of course. I would let any one of them die in an instant. But in Survivor, you gotta play big if you wanna succeed. So far, definitely made friends with Claude Baudelaire. Which wasn't particularly hard, due to them already considering me an ally. I just had to reinforce this by listening to them talk about how hot my brother is, even though he's definitely gay. Susan Anderson and Oliver Mantle are much harder cases. They seem to be on my side, but I don't know how they'll play when the chips are down. I need a way to ensure their loyalty. Jasper Mantle is evil. Definitely against me, but he's also against everyone else. Without any alliances behind him, he's not really a true threat. No. <laughs> the true threat. It's Scott Chadman! He is impenetrable and impossible to read. His vote is so unknown that I simply cannot have him on the board. He's also got a really close tie with both Susan and Oliver, who are his friends from uni. But they weren't his friends in season one. I just find it all so shifty. He's also got this secret girlfriend who we won't let anyone meet. So that's like possible two votes against me. Maybe even four. If anyone has to go, it has to be him. But Survivor is about making big moves. I can't just wait around for the votes to get me. I need to stir the plot. I need to play the game. Enter Susan. I've been quite anxious lately, actually. Oh, tell me more. I am deeply invested in your personal struggles. It's just... I'm just worried that Oliver and Scott are getting sick of me. Mm, 100%, 100%. Yeah, like, like vote you out of the, tr uh, the tr friendship tribe. The, the tribe of friends that you formed. Yeah, something like that. I have my strategy. I have my ally. Now it's time to play a little game I like to call... Seems like no one else was taking the theme seriously. It's gonna make you feel awful. Like you don't really fit in here. Yeah, that's true. You don't fit in. Well, yeah, you got... <laughs> Sorry, I can't even say it with a straight face. We hate you, Susan. What? <laughs> Get out! <laughs> Leave the house! Worried your friends might leave, aren't you, Susan? Wolf, are you reading my aura? Oh, no, darling. I'm in your mind. I'm your past self. Every time you've had to make a new you, when your friends have abandoned you, and it's happening again, isn't it? No, it isn't. Oliver and Scott are different. They stuck around after we graduated, and you said they wouldn't. Sure, they were friends with you in uni, but do they care about you in high school? They only became friends with you when you moved to the city because it was convenient. No, they like having me around. 
They invite me over all the time. Literally none of what you're saying is true. If it isn't true, why do you still feel this way? You're obviously not managing your emotions very well. You don't do well without structure. You should have never graduated. Actually, darling, your aura resembles a cloud of a thousand bats. You should get that checked out. You can't ignore this forever, Susan. Once they leave, you'll go back to being a nobody. And not just in the way that everybody's a nobody in the system. You're all wrong, and a very worrying sign of my mental health. I'll show you. I'm gonna go see them right now. And get this, his name is Johnny Ohio. Cool, like Indiana Jones. Yeah, but not exactly, because in my book, the state is his last name. So it's, it's a subversion of the action adventure genre. Awesome. What are you subverting? Well, the genre, firstly. Then there's the name, which is also verted. It's a homage. Ah, oh, okay. So you're gonna have like a German villain? Like a James Bond German villain? Yeah, I am. And get this, I'm already ahead of you. Get this. Hans Hitler. Hans? You sure about that? What? What's the problem with Hans? It's just a really stereotypical German name. It's gonna seem like you picked the first German name you thought of. Right. Yeah. At least it's not Adolf. Of course not. That would be inappropriate. Good morning! I have a friend about to arrive. He's 20 minutes early. Cool. Well, I'll be doing some work in the living room. Oliver, you can introduce me. Let me know when you're past all that so I can just say, hey. No, you should meet him! I don't do small talk. And he does a pretty good hey. I've been practicing. Oh, Claude, do you want pasta? It's fresh. No thanks. Really? Okay. Really hope someone wants it because I've been up since five researching sauce. You don't have to add the salt yourself, it doesn't come with the tomatoes. Come with the tomatoes? Hola! Hi! You're early, I said 22. Uh, yeah, it's 10.22. Hello, stranger! Hi! This is my friend Fungus, I'm showing him the new place. Fungus? Fungus! There were two Gusses and he's the Funger. Why do you call one Gus and the other Angus? There was already an Angus. Right. Well, nice to meet you, Fun Gus. I'm Oliver. Oh, do you want pasta? Um, later. Oh, and you can call me Gus. No, that's okay. I want to call you Fun Gus. Oh, oh, okay. You should go shower. Yeah, good call. Nice to meet you. Come on, I'll show you my room. Oh, hey, Susan. The vibes are off. I think he hates you. Hi, Scott. What are you up to? Just sitting here coming up with a role-playing card game in my mind. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's like this fantasy thing where you play as this necromancer. There's also a warlock and a skeleton. I'm not doing it justice. We should play sometime. Ah, oh, I'd love to. Ask him if he really means it. Hey, do, do you really mean it? Oh yeah, on God, you play a necromancer. I mean about wanting to play it with me. Oh, of course! I mean everything I say. Especially when it's about necromancers. I am huge on necromancers. Oh, so he's just using you to play the game, isn't he? No one else wants to. You're his last option. So will Oliver play with us? Nah, he said no. Told you. He doesn't want to get into a new genre while he's writing his book. I keep trying to get him to add a necromancer, but he keeps saying no. I had a really cool design in mind too. Did he say no because he doesn't want to hang out with us anymore? Nah, he said no because he doesn't like necromancers. He said they aren't right for the story, whatever that means. Name one story that wouldn't be better with a necromancer in it. I get worried I'm not good enough. Nah, I don't know that one. Oh, this could be code. He could be saying he wishes you were more lively. Um, I the necromancer? In the game? Yeah, you are. Well. Whoever's playing. Oh. So what does that mean? What? You don't know? Sorry, that's on me. It's a wizard who can reanimate the dead. Right. Okay. I get it. Cool. Anyway, I'm going to wash my hands for 34 seconds. Wizard! 
It's, it's pain! What? What is it? Oh! Oh my god! Jasper! Uh, is knocking one of the social cues here behind us? It was unlocked. And ajar. This is my bathroom. What are you doing up here? There's a bathroom downstairs. Have you seen it lately? It's all fucked up. Oh, hey, Claude has a friend over, a guy called Fungus. Fungus. No, no, Fungus. That's stupid. Is he cute? I don't know, I don't know. Ugh, typical. Aloha! Oh, what manner of foul artifice! It's not human! It's I'm not no, human! No, I've never seen anything like it, I've never... What happened? In there! Which one of you did that? You know how I feel about hygiene. It wasn't me. Well, I don't live here. I I'm new. But you were here last night, Susan! We don't know how long it's been like this. You think it's me? It's the living room bathroom. We should ask the guy who sleeps on the couch. Speak of the devil. Take that back. Red palette clashes with my eyes. My mind. Who's this? What did you do to the bathroom? Fungus. Really? Overnight? I'm gonna call you Gus. How do we feel about that? Cool. I said you could already. Wait, this guy's called Fun Gus? Is he here to replace me? Yeah. <gasps> oh! <laughs> no, I was talking to Scott. Oh. Did you destroy the bathroom? Uh, no. I was out last night. You like to party, Gus? Yeah, it's alright. Humbug! What is all the humbug I hear? Ben's here! Settle down. Settle down. What's going on? Someone blew up the bathroom, was it you? <laughs> no, of course not. That would be destructive and pointless. I would never do anything like that. Except I did. Let me explain. Season 19, Samoa. Russell Hatt's great villain. He would get up in the middle of the night. He would burn his tribesmates' socks. He would bury the machete. Then in the morning, they'd all get up and be like, who, th who, who did that? And Russell Hatt's would just sit back, watch as everyone just collapsed around him. Maniacal. Now, I think the fire alarm would go off if I tried burning any laundry. And I don't think this house has a machete. But I may do with what I had. You gotta make big moves if you want to play a big game. Quote. Benjamin Mantle, future survivor winner. I'm quoting myself. If nobody did it, then someone's lying. Fess up! Well, Oliver hasn't denied it yet. No, it's not his style. What does that mean? Whose style is this? Guys, this isn't working out. I think what we should do is we should split up into smaller groups, discuss who we think did it, then regroup later on at Tribal Council. Uh, to try try to handle tr the, uh, the situation. Good thinking. Genevieve's over though, so I can't leave. How is she always over? Susan, follow me. Oh, I'm coming too! Gus, stay here! Um, okay. I'll catch up. Gus, take a seat. This whole event can take a while. Alright. So, uh, how was your shower? It was nice. Thank you for asking. Lonely, though. It's a big shower. Jasper. Uh, no, Gus, but that that's okay. Um, so, you live here? In a manner of speaking, yes. So you uh, like the place? It's, it's great, yeah. A uh, big house? Big enough. So you'll be staying the night? Well, it depends how long this goes on for, but uh, yeah, if I'm around. I hope you will be. I don't have a room at the moment, but I could bring down a mattress if you don't mind sharing. Uh, fine, fine with me, yeah. I can be uh, a rough sleeper. Oh, uh, I, I don't mind that. My brother used to get night terrors, like, all the time. He'd, like, shake the whole bunk bed. Do you top or bottom? Oh, I was on top. It was terrifying. Not what I'm asking. Oh, um, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. You're funny. I like funny. Do you guys want me to leave? You should have left a while ago, Gandalf. Bet. Well, 
I do really want to catch this drama though. I'm a bit of a whore for gossip, among other things. See you later, Gus. See you. Oliver. Do you guys think Scott's been acting really shifty lately? Scott's always acting shifty. It'd be shifty if he wasn't acting shifty. You know what we should do? We should like make a list. <gasps> I love lists! Yes, I know you do. You should make a list of all of Scott's behaviour since the first day you met him and, and like focus really hard and just think about every single minute detail. Susan, it was me. What are you doing? I did the bathroom. <laughs> what? What did you eat? Never mind that. Don't you want to know why? Indigestion? No, I did it for you! For our alliance! What? So you don't get voted out of the friend group. You see, if we both vote Scott, then everyone will vote him out instead of you. And you'll be in my debt. What? This isn't Survivor, Ben. Scott can't take my place if there's something wrong with me. If my personality's all wrong. Listen to me now. We are in this together. We're going to the final three, baby. We gotta blame Scott. Are you with me? It's my fault you're doing this. It's all my fault. Well, no, but you are involved. I'm involved? So are you in? I don't think I have a choice. Okay. I'll blame Scott. Survivor's ready. Go! Hey, I got a new villain name I want to run by you. It can wait. Look in the bathroom. So it wasn't you! What? Of course not! I didn't even think this was fucking possible! Susan thought you might have done it. Susan thought I might have done it! What the fuck? Gotta change that! What do you mean? Well, if no one owns up to it, then she's just gonna go on thinking it was me. And then my chances with her are toast. She might like toast. Everyone likes toast. Wouldn't like me. Maybe we should blame someone. Blame someone? Lie and make someone else take the fall? Do we do that kind of thing? Oh no, it's nothing serious. I was thinking of blaming Jasper. Oh, that's fine then. I'm in. Oh, you're, you're, you're back. Oh, I hope you don't mind using it before I can have this. Absolutely, go ahead. Oliver, I'll see you upstairs so that we can get our story straight. I mean, get your story straight. Your book sucks! Well, oh, Oliver, wait. Oh uh, yeah? Sorry for being so nervous earlier, but I'm really excited about your offer. My... Ah, absolutely, I said you could have it, so... Oh, thank you, I do really want it. That's fine, have it, go, go ahead. I will. I'm really excited about it. Cool. Uh, how do you like it? Um... I like it rough? Yeah, a gelder, ain't I? I like it... hot? No, oh, you can put it in the microwave. Oh. Will you be the microwave? What? Uh... Sure... Soups up, or pa pasta in this context. I'm gonna go upstairs now, goodbye. Wow, gay flirting is a whole other world. Jespy! Ah, you. Where's everyone else? They left me behind by mistake, but don't worry. My mum used to do this to me all the time when I was a kid. Sad. Anyway, tell me about this Gus. He's your friend? Oh, you want to hear about my life? 
Uh, the Gus parts, yeah. Oh yeah, we used to study all throughout high school. He'd help me because I get distracted really easily. I have ADHD, diagnosed as a kid, same time as the autism diagnosis actually. Some people think you can't have both, but it's actually extremely common. Like Oliver, for example, he's got both and he was diagnosed as a Claude, you were telling me about Gus. Oh yeah, Gus? He's awesome. I wanted everyone to meet him because, you know, we're like a big family and he's one of my friends. And he's queer? Yeah, he's bi, but he's never been with a guy. Oh my god, that rhymes. Anyways, who did you think did the bathroom? Oh, I don't care about that. I was just going to blame Oliver. So, do you think you could uh, set him up with me? Set him up? But he's my friend! Is that a problem? No, I'll... I'll do it for you, Jaspi. Great. Oh, there's a necromancer. Wait, why is it crossed out? Wait here. I need a buff. What do you have that I don't? What? Oh, the notebook. Oh, is this yours? Notepad, pen, paper, writing, language. You think my friends don't want to talk to me anymore? Gus. Wait, why are you upstairs? I am so confused. I'm a downstairs. I'm a guy. Play all cards, right? Oh, oh, oh. Mm. Stairs. Stairs. Glancing. Looking. You mean they don't want to see me anymore? Alright! Let's get to show on the road! House meeting! House meeting? You think this is because of me? Gus, I'd love you to stay the night. And Claude agrees with me. Yeah, I agree. Oliver did the bathroom. Wait, what? Will you be making dinner? I like your pasta. You liked my want? You shrieked? What the fuck? Uh, I mean, he was, he was loud. Alright. Let us discuss who did this. So there are two of you? Hmm? And with that, it's time to vote. Scott! Jasper! Uh, Oliver. Jasper? Scott. Oliver. Jasper. It's two votes, Scott. Two votes, Oliver. Three votes, Jasper. Wait, I got two votes. Sorry, I wasn't. No, I was. I wasn't voting. I, I was just confused. Your name's Jasper. Yeah. Get used to saying that name. Get a room. Oh God, he's even getting a room. Why are you voting for me? Okay, that's that's two votes, Scott. Two votes, Oliver. Two votes, Jasper. Oh my God, it's tiebreaker. I've got rocks. You rock. I'm sorry, I can't do it, Jasper. Ollie, he told me to vote for you, and I take it back. What the fuck are you talking about? I said set me up with Gus. Don't call me that. Oh, I said set him up with me, right? I understand. Two votes Scott, two votes Jasper, one vote Oliver? Wait, so you lied because you did it? Oh, no, no, I just hate you. You probably didn't do it. Honestly, I'm just, I'm very busy. Oh, thank you. You probably didn't do it either. So you guys are twins? Cool. I was also lying. Best friend thing. Two votes Scott, no votes Oliver or Jasper. Scott! Tribe spoken. Wait, what? What did the tribe say? Gus. Is that a vote for Gus? What? No, I'm just trying to smash. Oh, I can't keep lying. Ben told me he's the one that blew up the bathroom, but I feel responsible. <coughs> but, uh, so, so you admit it was you? What? No! I changed my vote to Susan. I vote Susan. What? Wait, you did it? Sorry, I keep not listening. Rotating a necromancer in my mind. That, that's two votes Susan. Since Susan, tribe spoken. Fine. Abandon me. See if I care. I'll make new friends. Are things usually like this? Yeah, there's downtime. Interested? Ben, did you fuck up the bathroom as a survivor play? <laughs> Let me rephrase that. Ben, you fucked up the bathroom as a survivor play, and you've upset Susan. What, what, you tricked her into doing your bidding, and now you've talent on her? That kind of villain move is... Oh, I'm having a book idea. I'm having an idea about the book. We done here? Uh, yeah, yeah, we're done. Cool. How about we all go to the pub? Especially you, Gus. Genevieve's over. I don't care. Ben, uh, clean, clean up the bathroom. Jesus Christ. <laughs> what?! Now, as you can see, my plan failed. It's okay. Sometimes in Survivor, you gotta take hits. But I, I can't help but think about how it was all going better when I was just trying to make friends instead of tear them down. Maybe that's why Russell never won.
Ben, what are you doing? I said clean it up and you just walked upstairs. But I'm just a little baby boy. Clean the bathroom. It's me, isn't it? It's my abandonment issues. Yes, well, darling, it's time to move on. You're never going to be okay if you keep going on like this. You need to find some new friends, some friends that are self-assured. And then maybe you can pick something up from them. I don't know how to make new friends. I don't know how to be self-assured. I'm a loser. I'm a negative no friend Nelly. Oh. Hey, wait up a second. Yeah? Listen, Gus, I've been coming on strong. It's part of the fun. And I love fun. It's just, Claude told me you've never been with someone like me. Listen, you're cute. The way I've been going about this isn't the only way. So how about you tell me what you're comfortable with and I match that speed. Are you okay with that? <laughs> Think I care if someone backs out on me? I'll go get my coach and I'll see you then. Okay, uh, see you later, Jasper. Hey, call me Jazz. Good. So worried your friends are gonna leave you? Nah, I'm done with them. They're losers, especially Oliver. How, are, are you good though? There was so much tension coming off you two, I could charge a battery, depending on its on its size and wattage. You think Oliver's a loser? He ruins everything he touches, and his glasses. His glasses are stupid. Only a matter of time. Huh. We should hang out. I mean, um, if you've got time between Gus sessions. Oh, a boy can dream. We might as well get to know one another if we're going to be hiking through this jungle. No. Why? So, woman. How did a vision like you end up in a place like you? My father, he's an archaeologist. He took me on his latest exposition, I mean expedition. But we were attacked and he was killed. That's a shame. I'm sure you're shaken up about that. But don't worry, I'll protect you. <gasps> you saved me. Have I ever told you that you're really handsome? You didn't need to. It was obvious to me. Yeah. A gun! My kryptonite. Hands up. Hey, yo, boss! Hey, yo, boss, I got him! Did I do good? Do I get a pat on the head? Oh! Hey! Hey, I'm dying here! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Shooting down your own henchman, your sick Hans Hitler. That is not my name. And uh, why do you make such a reference to such a horrible historical figure? Also, I'm not German, I'm clearly French. Ah, my mistake. I'm learning and growing. What's your name? Je m'appelle Francois Napoleon. And now I've got you now. <laughs> Nothing will stand in the way of me and the acquisition of the blood amulet. The blood amulet of the ancient necromancer. It's real. Huh? And it's over. No, no. My father died for this. Okay, I'll give it to you. Finally, the artifact that will act as the first step to getting to the blood amulet. Let's get moving. We can make it to my jungle cabin in a few hours. Don't worry, woman. I'll get us out of this. 
Mm-hmm.